Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and welcome back to another episode here in Hearth of Iron 4, where we're playing for the free chip achievement, which <laughs> we're making progress. We're not making a lot of progress, but we're making progress. It's 1941, and we're still not a colony. <laughs> but I, th I think, if I remember rightly, we modified our lend lease a fair bit to improve include infantry equipment so that's going to help a fair chunk especially since we have infantry equipment 3 and it's 1941 uh, we could send convoys they don't really give much I don't think we're sending all of our fighters to Britain and the support equipment I think we're gonna need we were, we're not gonna need all of our support equipment either to fully maintain our troops but Britannia rules the waves that focuses on and then yeah the US still isn't in yet there <laughs> we're gonna get close here it's February of 1941 so expecting at some point in the near future Japan is going to attack the United States but if you uh, look at the diplomat mode for Japan I, I'm <laughs> I wish this was exaggerated but literally the entire world outside of the middle of Europe and the South America is at war with Japan <laughs> and Germany and Italy. <laughs> and then Bulgaria and Hungary, of course. Bulgaria is staying neutral for a change. I think they're gonna flip sometime in the near future. But that's none of our concern for right now because we have our 13 divisions of cavalry. They're not even fully sized cavalry divisions. I could expand them at this point so that they aren't um, half strength basically. I, I would consider 20 of uh, standard combat width so we're at like half strength cavalry units which we have plenty of manpower to change that but do we have the infantry equipment to do so? I do not believe we do especially since we're training another division. We, yeah we're training one whole division I was going to make sure that we deploy in Alexandria. But yeah, we need to actually let the game start ticking along. Actually make some progress. Uh, what are we researching right now? Uh, land doctrine, I think we're almost done with that. The atomic research is nice. We're finishing up our industrial tech. Okay. I like how we have a a negative 28% to our research time. That's that's a significant portion. Whoa. Game's calculating a lot of things right now. Hey, the Yunnan Free Empire has capitulated. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. Okay. They're one of the Japanese puppets. Okay. Uh, what do we got going on over here? That's a convoy raid. Uh, the Soviets are getting pushed back ever so slightly, but they are being pushed. If only we could send them volunteers. But alas, we're at war. <laughs> now, we have no military access through the Soviet Union right now, or any way to fight the, actually fight the Germans, because... They have probably 400 to 450 divisions of troops, and that is no bueno, senor. Meanwhile, Italy's hanging out with 15. I feel like they might be sending expeditionary forces to Germany. Because Germany has a lot of manpower, but I don't think they have that much manpower. Uh, what do we want to do now? Let's go with large navy. Yeah. We'll go down the naval tree. Actually, why don't we do aviation since we're actually sending 
um, Britain planes, and at some point we're going to want to uh, send them better planes. Ooh, the Manhattan Project. Imperial Glory. All right. Yeah, not much happening. Naval rearmament. NKVD. Hmm. We don't really have a, a front for me to send troops. So I want to send troops over here into China, but the supplies over here aren't very high, I will say, considering how many troops are already in this area. We could send more to the north, like maybe take over the Zibai San Ma Free State, but we'd also have to go back over there again. We sailed there once. I'm not sure if I want to again. Let's see, did I research? Uh, oh, jeez. I think for right now, we're just going to kind of watch over Europe in general. Keep an eye on our holdings, but... Uh, there's not much going on. So... I'm going to watch the, the German Reich invade the Soviet Union. And so far, they seem to be making pretty quick progress against the Soviets, which is somewhat worrisome. But I'm also noticing that we landed troops in Brittany again, but we're actually winning on the defense, which is a significant change as compared to uh, our previous landings. Ooh, what happened here? Naval convoy? No, three of my convoys! No! Whatever shall I do? God damn it, Italy. You and your nine ships. What is happening? Why are my convoys going this way? <laughs> Germany you have two ships and I mean granted I can't even make one but hmm I'm thinking about yeah we're gonna invest one of our civilian factories into oil to um increase our production of convoys and of planes so we're making a whole plane every week <laughs> that's fantastic we also need rubber but not that much rubber so i don't think it's worth it to grab it because if we start trading for all of this then we're not actually going to have any civilian factories to trade and I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet, um, add in our cavalry. <laughs> We're going to have a deficit of an extremely large amount of infantry equipment. <laughs> but we're not fighting anyone right now. And we need to increase our, our actual combat capabilities I mean unless I wanted to convert all of these guys to actual standard infantry divisions what would, what would that cost uh, manpower not quite all of that equipment and more support equipment I think my infantry divisions have engineer companies yeah and I want to stick with the cavalry just because they're, they're that little bit faster. They're, they use a little bit more supplies, which at this point, supplies aren't going to make that much of a difference. And they also work well with recon companies, I feel. Because the, the reconnaissance with the... Uh, I don't think it actually makes a difference. Uh, come to think of it. Yeah, it just matters about the tactics. So, um, 
We might put in a signal company? I don't know. What happened? Why do we all of a sudden have a deficit of such a large amount of equipment? What happened? Did did we just lose a bunch of stuff due to attrition or what happened? I thought we were in the positive. Yeah. I don't know what happened. What just... Where's my... Where's the, uh, thing? This thing. What the hell happened? Yeah, we haven't... What? It's all Malaysia. And Siam. Yeah, that's... Sirenatia. Wow, that was... That was part of the North Africa campaign. Okay. How did we just lose all of this equipment? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Where did that equipment go? <laughs> it... it it happened like 15 days ago. What the hell happened? What did I do? Oh, shit. <laughs> I, actually, I actually went through with that. God damn it. Okay. Easy fix. Very, very easy fix. We're just going to have to train our troops. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, oh yeah, that's right, this is in the new patch, um, I'm recording this about a week after the video that's going up Saturday, or went up Saturday, and patch 1.3.3 .3 has come out, ooh, Greece invaded, what, um, um, ooh, it's tempting, I feel like we could hold the line. If we made it in time, but we, we need to worry about training our troops this <laughs> back up to being fully trained because I made <laughs> a very stupid mistake. Go me. Wait. What happened to our lend lease, Britain? I was. Oh, jeez. Let's go. And then... Not this. Need infantry equipment. 90% of our infantry equipment production. 80% of our... Support equipment production. Okay. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that was... That could have been bad. <laughs> well, like, what did I do? <laughs> I had to have done something. I just don't know what. Gee, I wonder. Um, and I'll go ahead and modify the one lease to... Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Ooh, Mangakuo surrendered to the Soviets. So the Soviets are pushing in Asia. That's why they're... Well, granted, the front line here is stalled as well. If I can get these troops to being trained... Actually, you know what? That's good enough. We're going to Sicily, boys. <laughs> Boys, let's go. Damn. 
Damn, it's not gonna work. Okay. Yeah, you guys gotta halt exactly where you are. We are gonna, however, send you to Tunis. So that we're a little closer to Sicily the next time we have an invasion. Because one Greek motorized division isn't going to work out too well, I don't think. And Hungary is starting to send troops down. <laughs> they're just giving all of their troops to Germany. Yeah, they're, they're all just expeditionary troops. Granted, I would hate it, I think, if Spain got involved. They have like 80 some odd divisions, 90 something. Uh, jeez. Okay, so we're moving now. Uh, we gotta redo that. And we can get the guys back to training. So, in. In order to uh, get a signal company involved, well, first we have to research signal company. Yeah, we only have. Yep. <laughs> we don't even have trucks research. That's right. Ah, uh, jeez. <laughs> wow. We need to just step our game up for research. Ugh. Those poor Greeks. Ever stood a chance. And then we got kicked out of Brittany. Fantastic. You know, if our troops are already kind of... Like, we already lost all of that uh, experience... Let's just tack on more. Why not, you know? <laughs> We're just 7,000 infantry equipment in the hole at this point. No big deal. What are we doing? Uh, God, we aren't making any progress at all towards becoming free. We might just have to... Hmm, we might have to bite the bullet and take the... Uh, the continuous focus is we're not going to be able to contribute a whole lot of war score here in the in this area. We do rocket effort. Ooh. I f I would feel terrible about not completing the tech the uh, the focus tree though. I mean, granted, the navy it's not going to matter. And we need to research trucks first as well. And rockets aren't for two years, so... Yeah, we'll do increased autonomy. This is gonna... <laughs> we're gonna start working our way up substantially towards freedom. And I don't know how to quote... I don't know quite how to feel about it if I could speak properly. Um... We will see, like, every day, I think, we get, it's every day we get, you know, every day we get 0.5, I thought every day we would get 0.1, no, it is 0.5. Ooh, the Raj is starting to contribute some war score, though, that's nice. Italy, at this point, has lost more troops than Germany, but if we go to the German-Soviet war, <laughs> the Germans have lost another half million. They've lost just as much as the Soviets. Germany, you're not supposed to do that. They've actually... The whole, like, Axis alliance have lost more troops than the Soviets. <laughs> That's not how this is supposed to work. The Soviets are supposed to be undersupplied. And in terrible shape. Wow. I think the Soviets are starting to push back out. Wow. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting war, to say the least. Yep, so we're training, we got another 
50,000 manpower in the field. Roughly. Approximately. And at this point, we still only have a volunteer army. What are we going to do with our... Uh, I guess grab fleet logistics. Granted, I don't think that would help that much. Um, I haven't researched the construction technologies yet. That might be a problem. I don't think it's going to be, though. Um, 140 days for... Wow. That's very much a viable option at this point. Don't need tanks. Don't need... Uh, we do kind of need the motorized. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick up trucks. And then for the assembly line production, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> but we're going to figure something out for our research. Ooh. We still haven't re reinforced all of our manpower. Um... So... <laughs> Monthly, after full delivery, Egypt gets plus 26 autonomy. So... That times 10 months. So say we're doing this for almost a year. That would be 260 points. Yeah, there's no way we'd be able to earn our independence. Alright, assembly line production. Um, I think this is going to be where we go for the ahead of time planes. Try and get a little extra lend lease efficiency. Even though it might not actually help that much. Oop. Resistance to foreign occupation. It's not going to matter though because there's no buildings in the province that uh, has resistance to foreign occupation. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, we just completed new technology for industry, so we got a couple research slots. Wait, what happened? Oh my god, wait, hold up. What does... Hold up. So Cairo has 60%. And um, it's production to be completed. State infrastructure. Wow. <laughs> infrastructure helps with buildings now. Wow. That is very nice. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to pick up better conscription laws. There we go, get another 150,000 manpower out in the field. Also like how France is now known as Free France after they surrendered to Germany. So, don't know how to feel about that. Um, trying to think, are we actually doing any landings anywhere? Because I don't think we are. There's plans, but there's no actual things going on. Ooh. The free state of Zubaisan Ma has capitulated to the Soviet Union. Okay. Well, it seems that Xinjiang and Mongolia aren't going to get any more territory. Also looks like Manchuria, aka Manchuku, is, uh... Oop, that's the uh, timer. Oh, crap. Um, 
let's pick our next, our final land doctrine, and wrap the episode up there. So thank you all for watching. Sorry that there's not really much that we're doing right now. The game will pick up, but <laughs> we had our initial wars, or our initial battle for North Africa and Libya. That ended rather quickly compared to how it did historically. But, yeah, hope you all enjoyed, but so long for now.